Hi everyone, we are in Copenhagen, Denmark for the Delo Industry Days 2023. And this morning I am meeting with the Chief of the Royal Danish Navy, Rear Admiral Henrik Ryberg. Admiral, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for your time for answering a few of my uh, questions. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. So to start with, uh, can you please briefly uh, tell us about uh, your navies, namely uh, how many sailors are under your command and uh, how many assets in your fleet? Well, in Denmark, we have a tradition uh, with a, a navy. We are more than 500 years uh, in our history and uh, presently we have uh, tri uh, <laughs> three uh, squadrons. Uh, we have one squadron with uh, frigates uh, and uh, patrol vessels in the northern Atlantic. We have a squadron with frigates and we have a squadron with patrol ships uh, patrolling in the Danish uh, territorial waters. On board the ships we are about uh, 2,300 men and the men in total is, uh, is hard to say because we have a lot of different organizations. So the na Navy comprises of many people outside the Navy working for different uh, institutions. The Royal Danish Navy is uh, pretty unique in that whenever Russian vessels uh, sell out or in the Baltic Sea, they sell very close to your shores. Uh, and we all remember uh, the, that the Nord Stream incident uh, took place uh, pretty much in your backyard last year. Uh, how do you manage those uh, challenges? Well, we have a long tradition to, to, to sail very close to the Russian Navy in the Baltic Sea. And uh, normally we uh, follow uh, foreign units, also other units, uh, through our Danish Straits. Normally th we have an agreement that uh, they will pass with three ships at a time. And of course we have a pretty good picture of uh, what is happening in our territorial waters. Uh, Nord Stream, uh, 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 the accident was outside our territorial waters, but of course in our economic zone, so that was another, another thing. But in our territorial waters, we are following every sh foreign ships through our uh, straits. So, so that's a normal procedure, and uh, we have a good picture. And uh, if we are not in our own waters, of course we have a very close cooperation with our neighbor countries. Uh, the Danish government uh, announced last year that uh, there would be a massive investment in the Royal Danish Navy, about 5.5 uh, billion US dollars. Uh, what are your expectations from this in terms of uh, new capabilities? Well, the, my first ex expectation is that uh, if they had said that, they, they will follow up on it. Uh, and uh, what we, are, of course, we are waiting right now. Uh, what will the result be? Uh, you know a lot of uh, our project right now on our developing new patrol ships uh, to, to relieve our uh, present patrolling ships uh, which are not very capable in wartime. But uh, I expect that uh, there will be follow-on programs. Uh, not right now they are trying to find solutions together with the Danish uh, industry and everybody is waiting. Uh, for their recommendation uh, to the future. So that's what we have uh, right now. As I see it, they will come with a plan which will be, I think uh, we will have a pretty capable uh, Navy in the future, but it takes time. So, so I, I think we will come out soon with a plan to how to handle the relievement of uh, our uh, present Navy. Last but not least, uh, Admiral, uh, if I uh, remember correctly, uh, two of your frigates uh, in recent past uh, were part of the French carrier strike group uh, providing valuable escort uh, duties. Uh, another frigate took place in uh, Mission Agenor, a uh, French-led uh, operation in the uh, Persian Gulf. Can we expect a similar deployment far away from Denmark in the, in the near future? Well, today we have five frigates and uh, the planning of uh, their uh, exercises and activities is normally based on uh, that we will at least uh, participate in, in uh, the standing naval force in NATO and uh, try to connect to uh, carrier strike groups uh, once a year. How we do that? Well, we haven't decided yet, but 
but in our plan we we, we plan to to try to connect with these uh, naval uh, forces and try to to train with them and to be deployed with them and of course right now we have uh, US carrier strike groups we have British and we have French and we try to to connect that to our planning so I I hope that we also can in the future participate in some way uh, and that will not with carrier strike groups be in the very close to to the Danish territorial waters very well, Admiral Rayberg. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you for asking me.